Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to combine two or more Doodly videos using PowerPoint. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. One of the more common questions I see in the Doodly design group on Facebook is how do you combine two or more Doodly videos? Well, like many things, there are several different answers. One, you could duplicate your first video and then build onto it to make a second video, or you could copy and paste the elements from one video into another, or you can use external video editing software, which opens up a world of possibilities, but it can come with a steep learning curve and in many cases, a hefty price tag. So what if your needs are simple? For example, we have here three family tree videos. You might recognize this one from a tutorial we did a couple weeks ago. Let's say that you're collaborating with your siblings and you, you assigned your brother to do a little video about the grandma and then your sister is doing a little video about your grandpa or whatever it might be. I suppose you could share your Doodly account and work together on one big video, but you know it might be easier just if everybody created their own individual project videos and now you want to combine them into one. A super easy way is to use PowerPoint and I want to show you how to do it. You're going to be surprised at just how easy this is. So let's go ahead and go into PowerPoint and you'll see I started with a blank slide. I'm going to make this even more blank. I'm going to get rid of these little, I don't know what they call them, but I don't need them so I'm deleting those. And now I'm going to take my super blank slide and I'm going to duplicate it three times because I have three videos that I'm working with. I go up to my first one. I go to the insert menu and I'm going to go to video movie from file. And I'm just going to browse to my first video and insert it. You'll see it fills the screen. You can also see that it'll play as a video as expected. I'm going to do the same thing for my second slide. I'm going to go to insert, video, movie from file, family tree number two, insert, and once again, same thing, go to number three, insert, video, movie from file, family tree number three, my third video. Now we're pretty much done. If you want to get fancy, the design ideas are kind of neat and you could certainly do that if you'd like. I'm not going to do that in this example today. The other thing that I would recommend is go up to your first one, click the transitions button and you can choose different transitions. So let's have it fade in from black for our beginning. And then our second one, I would like something to happen between the, the two. I can have it morph, fade, push up, wipe, split. <laughs> There's a ton of them. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you just wanna find one that you like. I'm gonna do uncover. And then I'm gonna do one last one with my lady here and I think there's a page curl effect which might be kind of fun. And that's it. I am ready to turn this into a edited video. So all I need to do is go up to the file menu, go file, export, and I'm sorry you can't see it. It's off screen but it's just file export and we want to give it a name. So we're going to call it family tree compilation. And down here, by default, it wants to create a PDF. I don't want that. I want a video. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose MP4, which is a very common video format. And then quality, presentation quality, that would be great. I did export these videos originally as 720 um, here. So what I want is internet quality, 720. And I'm going to click export. 
And now PowerPoint is exporting this into a completed video. If I go into my actual folder here, wait a, a minute or two for it to do its thing. Now, if you recall, I set it to fade up from black, remember? So let's take a look. There it is. And I will fast forward because that's pretty long. Jump ahead. Okay, so we're coming up on our transition to video number two. Should be, there it goes. And then this one, if I recall, is pretty short. So we'll just let this one play out. Okay, we're coming up on our transition to video number three. It's a page curl, if I recall. There it is. And there's our third video. And then that will just play out till it's done. And there you have it. How to combine two or more doodly videos using PowerPoint. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.